Hey, what's up guys? Thomas or Jay here today and I am going to tell you guys the breakdown of my entire album. It has been released almost two weeks already and yeah, I'm going to tell you each and every details about every single song of the album. Let's get on with it. Yeah, so yeah. That is Thomas' intro, the intro of the album, and it's introducing the listener to me, about me, that I was born on the 9th of August, that I will never break a promise, I'll always be honest, but I'll never be the hottest, and yeah, that's pretty much it, it is the first song of the album, introducing the listener to me, and this is going to be the soundtrack straight, in th straight through into my life, yes, the album. This intro song, and yeah, let's get on to the next song now. My highs and lows, I wish I should have shown the tears coming out of my eyes. But that I thought to myself, why I always think that we'll be embarrassed. But that I know this is just plain and practice. So, the second song of the album is Highs and Lows, and is about me feeling happy and sad and. So everyone feels happy and sad in life. Everyone has the highs and lows, especially me. I feel sad sometimes, and it is normal to feel sad. Don't worry, it is normal to feel sad and down sometimes. But everyone is also happy at times as well, which is good. But sadly, we all get down. We all get sad in our lives. And with this song, I just, like, for me... It is a quite a deep song for me, to be honest. Like, in the chorus, uh, my eyes, the tears coming out of my eyes, but that I took, thought to myself, why? But like, I don't really cry as much. I used to when I was a lot younger, but now I don't really cry as much. So, yeah, but I know this is just playing in practice. Like, everyone cries, and everyone gets sad. And when you cry, it lets out all the, all the stress and... The sadness which kind of makes you happy again so yeah that is pretty much highs and lows in a nutshell about yes yeah and yeah let's go on to the next song so original it, it, original is about me being original and not copying anyone else's style and not copying anyone anyone else's like words or yeah the, the style of music and yeah I record this uh, this the original it was such a pain to mix like, oh my god sir. I was about to, I was actually about to scrap this song of the album but it, it's paid off, to be honest. It's some people's favourite song of the album, or one of the favourite songs of the album, which thank you ever so much to the people who think Original is one of the favourite songs of the entire album. I, wouldn't, I never ex expected it to be, and yeah, thank you. But I just kept it on because... I just kept it on because I just wanted a song about like me being original and not copying anyone else pretty much, and... Yeah, that is pretty much the meaning of original. I think it's I think it's grown on me original as well a bit as well. So yeah. And also let's go on to the next song. Motivation and dedication, we have the successes in life and never give up on our dreams and passions. And you're not the motivators and focus on motivation and give not the winners because we are winners. Motivation and dedication, we are the successes in life and never give up on our dreams and passions. And you're not the motivators and focus on motivation and you're not the winners because we are winners. So, so, so where do I start with motivation? I, I wrote motivation. <laughs> This song is over two years old, over two years old, and I well I got the did the first verse in the chorus in two, in like May two thousand and eighteen. There's like a demo version of the song without this beat, and it's just the first verse in in the chorus. I think in, I think the first verse is extended as well, but I just cut it off so it fits this beat as well. 
And yeah, and also in 2019, I added the this beat and the second verse with the song as well. And then earlier on this year, in 2020, I added the third verse and overlaid the vocals. Motivation and dedication. Like I always wanted to have motivation on... I always wanted to release motivation, but I actually did the verse and hook. It was about to be for the Tom and Focus EP, the first ever EP I ever did. But I'm glad to release it on this record. And also there was another song I had in mind for this album. It was called, It's a song called Memories. And yeah, I'll use either motiv motivation or memories. And uh, mo memories isn't done, it isn't complete, I don't think. I, I should really check it. But... Yeah, it was either out or memories of motivation to fit the M. So I, I decided with motivation because that is from 2018 and I wanted to release it so bad. And here we are, motivation. And let's go on to the next song now. So, appreciation, I actually wrote the chorus of it at a bus stop, hello, and I'll show you, and I'll read you guys it now, let me go up and notice on my phone, uh, appreciation, ah, so, appreciation for my music, appreciation for my videos, I appreciate every single support and advice, every single support and advice, come on, focus. Here we go. Hello, Nokia. Hello. So, yes, I wrote that at a bus stop. I was waiting for a bus. I've got a song on my head. Appreciation for him. I'm like, this is actually pretty good. And so I wrote the verses a while. So I got to college. I'm like, I need to do this. Like, And when I got home, I tweaked it a bit. From that one to, I appreciate every single compliment. And then the verses, I tweaked them a bit with the beat, with the beat. And yeah, appreciation is about me appreciating all the YouTube comments, all the love and support, all the likes on videos, all the all all the love on music and love for you know good 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 song and I appreciate it. And also for you know like in real life, like in work, work experience, college, all good job on this, good job on that. I'm like, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And everyone who's watching this video, thank you. I appreciate it a lot. And yeah, let's go on to the next song. You never see me search the lines. Why? Because I just like to realize who my friends are. Are that I've known for a long time That's why I don't want to search to lie So Socialize is about me It's a very, it's quite a deep song But not as deep as some of the songs of Which are unreleased <laughs> And I don't want to talk about them because they are deep. So this song, Socialize, is about me not socialising to many people in life pretty much. And you will never see me at a party. You will never see me with people hardly. I can't be around many people sadly. So <laughs> I just like that writing scheme right there. And yeah, you guys, to be honest, won't really see me socialise to many people. Only to a few people and that'll be it in life pretty much. I'm just my own person, and I don't, yeah, I'm just my per, my own person, and, yeah, and also the song was about to be unreleased as well, it was either this, it was like the same situation with motivation, it was like, is it Socialize, or a song called Save the World, which is also another unreleased song for the record, um, uh, yeah. So, should, so I played it to someone in a while. This is really good. So I had second thought. I'm like, wow, I should really, I should have, I should keep this on the on the album. 
and which and I think it was a good decision because it's, the album's about me, not anyone else. Quite a selfish me, but the album's about me. That's why it's called Thomas Ridge of the album. And so if the world is, it could fit on another album. It could be released one day, but I kept socialized because my album, Thomas Ridge of the album. And you know, let's go on to another song. My grandfather was named one. My mom chose his name to be my middle name. My name was called Tom because of my dad. That I've never seen my parents sad. But I know sometimes deep down they are. So that is Ron Interlude, and the reason why uh, Thomas Intro, Ron Interlude, and Roger Altra is because that's my name, Thomas Ron Roger. Yes. And yeah, Ron, Ron Interlude is about my family, my mum, dad, and granddad. It's like, yeah, I just like was writing that. And also, a line of that, uh, my middle name was Ron, no, my grandfather, yeah. It's a line off in that song, which is on Old Grandfather, an old song from the Forever Family EP, which I'm like glad that's a reference on it already. And yeah, it's a quite a deep song about my family. Like it's it's still about me, but yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much what it's about. My grandfather and my parents. The song. So yeah, let's go on to the next song. <laughs> So, Open Me was the last song that I did for the album, and I did it in May, and I actually had it wrote down, just called Open Me, I couldn't think of the lyrics, but I think I just started writing, open me, open me, open me, open me like a book, where you'll take a look, I'm like, this is, come on, yes, and then I got like the slow fi beat, and it fitted so well, it's like, I think it's one of my favourite songs of the, of the album. But I love them. I think I love them all off the album. You know, it's, it's about me so many. That so many things about me on this album, which are pretty deep. But I like, and like, the second. Well, yeah, the second first is like, it's like you reading a book about me. It's like wow, okay, <laughs> that is actually pretty sick. It's only two minutes and twenty three seconds, which is short and snappy, which I love about a song. It makes you want more of a song. Yeah, that's pretty much about Open Me, and this song pretty much sums up my life in a book. So, maybe, I don't know if I'll ever write a book one day, but, I don't know, maybe, who knows. I never thought I'd be doing YouTube, like, seven years, over seven years later, or doing music. So, anything could happen. So let's go on to the next song. Don't remember this name, it'll be a nice and mistake that I'll make you can say you never gonna hate what that I'm never gonna make you also do something on another big thing that this is going to be the name you'll never forget. So name I don't know why but I in in my head I just wanted a song called Name. Because of course the album is my name. The album title is my name. And I was just writing them on call one time with some friends it was like like right and right and right. I'm like, wow, this is actually pretty decent. Like, in the, in the first verse, I, I wanted an, I wanted a. I wrote this after game. We'll, we'll talk about game afterwards. After when we get to the song. Yeah, you will never see me in in the same asylum. Insane asylum. And it's like, oh, that is actually pretty. And like, one of the pretty rhyming like flows and that. Free and pretty sick of the song. And also, this song is about. That I want people to remember my name. But who knows if people will actually rem remember my name in years to come. Who knows. But I'm not bothered if... Well, I do want I do want people to remember my name by me doing YouTube videos like this. Uh, me working hard. Me doing songs like this. 
yeah me just being me pretty much yeah you know that's what the name is about people anyone to rem to remember my name for my work ethic yeah and me being nice to everyone me being honest to everyone and that yeah let's go on to the next song now right now right now i love you right now love you right now right now Right now, I've already talked about this in another video, but right now was recorded in January, early on this year, January 2020, and I got, you know, and I was just mumming the words like, right now, right now, uh, like that is so rare of me, by like most sing most people write to the beat, but I don't really, I just write. And that is very rare of me right into the beat, but yeah, right now was just, I just knew, I'm like, right, I'm just recording, like, yeah, come on, let's go, let's go. And then I overlaid the vocals, and I'm like, this is, come on, this is going to be a single, which was a single on the 1st of May, right now was the, well, second single for the album, because Distance was the first one, right now was the second, and Socialized was, is the third one. And yeah, and right now the music video is like right now, but it's like the meaning of the song is about loving someone right now, and you want to hook them like when the man. It's like it's like a sequel to Distance, pretty much, but more pop, like more you can dance. And it's about you can just when someone's far away, you can play the song, and like you want to hold them right now, you want to love them right now, like I love you right now. And it's like. Well, this is actually pretty sick. It's actually me, the poppy meaning of the song, and yeah, and there's like there's there's a demo version, which has uh, you haven't really got a bad mouth, but baby, you love me right now. Uh, I wanna take you down south. I think yeah, and yeah, that is sick. I'm glad right now I did. And let's go on to the next song now. Yeah, tomorrow where I become People don't know of what my mind stays So scared of going out on a blind date To even think of the unkind fate So, older I get, I actually said to someone in November of 2019 One of my good friends The older I get, the more anxious I become And it's like because I don't know, I was just feeling, I don't know, I was feeling, to be honest. That's what, like, highs and lows comes in, like, um, uh, I think there's a trip, I didn't want to go. But I said to my friend, the older I get, the more anxious I become. But when I was writing, I'm like, whoa, I wrote this, like, early 2020. I'm like, whoa, this is what I said to my friend, but I changed the words from my anxious side, get the more aware I become. The more aware I become, I'm actually the beat more. And yeah, it's about you know. The older I, the older you get, the more like oh, where you actually do become. It's so true, and like your surroundings and that. But I've all, I've always felt like this I've, since, since secondary school and that. So it's it is true to me. To be honest, the more the more aware you become like of crime, of people, people in your life especially. Yes, especially the more aware of people in your life and your surroundings whilst you're outside and that. So yeah, this song actually does mean a bit to me. Quite, It's quite deep, but I wanted to make it as good as possible. Yeah. So yeah, let's go on to the next Distance. song. Oh, distance, distance can hurt, distance can cry, distance can make you feel sad, distance can make you feel down, oh, distance, 
cold distance. So distance. It's almost three years since I wrote this song. Almost three years. <laughs> I wrote it in late 2017. It was like October or November time. When I wrote I wrote this song, and it was about I was just writing down my my emotions of like long distance relationship because. I must admit, I have been in long distance relationships. They do hurt. They do, they do make you sad. They do make you, make you cry. But I just wrote it down. I'm like, okay. But then I didn't have a mic to record it on. That's the thing. I didn't have in 2017. I didn't have a mic. I only had an iPad. <laughs> uh, but and then it was January 2019. It was January 2019 where I recorded Distance for, and I released it on Distance EP in February 2019. The original words were, even if you can't Skype, maybe a... Yeah, even if you can't Skype, and then I changed that bit to even... Like, not everyone uses Skype, I'm like, that's what I thought to myself. But, yeah, wow, well, that's almost two, two years ago since I recorded. Wow. January 2019. And then hundreds of thousands of miles away. I think the original lyrics of that were hundreds of thousands of. But I forgot. So, so yeah. Uh, then I released the distance music video on the twenty first of February two thousand and nineteen. I almost said twenty one. <laughs> but and then. Uh, yeah, that's got over a thousand views. Thank you, for everyone who's viewed the distance music video. I appreciate it a lot. And then, uh, and then a year later, I re-released it a bit more. I mastered it, but master on Bandlab CD quality. Well, yeah, CD quality pretty much. And then it was on streaming services again, and that's my the, the pre, the like first single off the album. And I and I said to myself. Uh, I needed a an EP song for the album, just uh, one, and that's all one. And distance, so like from twenty seventeen to now, so pretty much the album is like almost three years in the making, because I wrote distance late twenty seventeen. The album released August twenty twenty. Yeah, so in the in distance about, and distance about is about. Anyone who's in a long distance relationship, in a long distance relationship or a friendship, if you think about it, like missing your online best friend, or missing your online partner, it's like wow, yeah. And that's what, and I wanted to write that so people can listen to that song and make them feel for them, yeah. And also, I wrote so many other songs back then as well, in twenty seven, well, a few songs back in the same time as distance. And I'm, and I'm very proud of this distance as well. Yeah, let's go on to the next song. We play this game, we play this game, we play this game which we call life. That we will go our deaths as I provide. Tell us about everything on the line. Tell us that everything is just fine. That everything is just takes time. In this game that we all call life. So, game, I just like, I said to myself sometime last year that I wanted a song called Game. Like, playing a game. Like, and I don't know, but I just didn't know how to write it. I'm like, game, game, again, we played this game, we played this game. I think that's pulled roll into that song. And yeah, one of my favourites of the album, in my opinion. Because like I'm just like fucking flowing, it's like, and <clears throat> I think I did. I think I started it like the thirtieth of December, twenty nineteen. <clears throat> I'm like, wow, it's actually. I was just like writing, writing, recorded it. I'm like, this is actually pretty sick, and like the replay, this game, like that's a sick hook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and also on the third of us, I, I, I actually. It's actually from, the, it's the game of life, and we all should unite, we shouldn't fight. That's from the Tom and Focus EP, Game of Life. And, <clears throat> yeah, just references that, and I, and I couldn't, 
I couldn't avoid that. I just had to put that in. Yeah. And the thing, the best thing about this album is all the EPs what I did in 2018 and 2019 were leading up to this massive album. Like, <laughs> yeah. And like so many references, like Game of Life, uh, Old Grandfather, uh, what other songs? Uh, that's it, pretty much. Distance, like talking about love and that. And yeah, I'm so, I'm one of my favorites of the album is Game. Yeah, let's go on to the next song now. And also the meaning, sorry, the, the, the meaning of the song is about, you know, like, you go out there to sacrifice and to put everything on the line. It's about, like, you know, t chasing your dream. I'd say. Because, like, we do play this game, which we call life. We go out to work. We go out to earn money. Um, it doesn't matter what you do in life. Either raise a family, be successful, or just have fun. We look back, we look back in life, what the hell have we done? It's like, wow. Well, <laughs> yeah, we do, to be honest. Yeah, and we do those things. Well, everyone does raise a family, be successful, or just have fun. Yeah. And, yeah, let's go on to the next song. My bad, I love my eyes. I love my smile. I don't really know that song properly, but yeah. Everything about myself is about a love. Everyone should love themselves, no matter what. It's like, it's like, yeah. It's like, I have my insecurities, but I still love myself. I, these teeth, yeah, I don't know. It's like, they're not the best teeth in the world, but I still love, it's, they're still teeth at the end of the day. I still got fucking teeth. I'm, it's like... It's like double chin, but I still love myself. But in my hair, it's like, a but yeah. And everyone should do the same, in my opinion. Like, we do our have our insecurities about the way we look, but everyone should everyone should love themselves of who you are, your natural personality, your natural looks. In my opinion. I prefer natural looks and, nat and a natural personality over anything in this world. Just be yourself in life. Pretty much just what I'm saying. And everyone should love, love everything about yourself. Yes. And it was such a hard song to write about because I was just like, oh, I don't know what to write about. I'm not loving myself. But yeah, this is... I'm glad it's done, this song. Everyone should love everything about yourself the self whatever <laughs> yeah loving yourself so yeah let's go on to the last song of the album now call me roger that i'll always be the dodger i got my name from my father i am not a social talker but i know very good laughter i know how to look after my wonderful mother because my name is thomas roger i will always look ahead into the future i don't know that song as much either so roger outro is about you know it's about my family again. Yeah, same with Ryan Interlude. And yeah, it's like, it's the outro of the album. And I say thank you for, thank you for the listener, Roger for the listener. And like some people call me Roger, which they do. Some people do call me Roger. And it's like, yes. And I don't mind, to be honest. It's like, it's a name's a name, in my opinion. Because that is, it is my name, Thomas Roger. You can call me. Uh, you can call me Ron if you want, <laughs> because that's my middle name. It's like I don't, I don't get offended by nicknames. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have said that. But I don't get, yeah, I don't get offended by nicknames. So yeah, people, some people call me Roger, which I don't mind. Yeah, and also this song, yeah, this song Roger, Roger outro, like as I talked about earlier, the intro is called Thomas, Mark, the intro is called Ron, and the. Outro is called Roger, it's because Thomas won Roger. And also, like, T-H-O-M-A-S-R-O-N-I-O-D-G-E-R, all the songs connected to my name, which I wanted to do. 
because I think that's why the album process was a bit hard, but I got it done in the end, and I'm so proud of it. And also, the intro, interlude, and outro were all produced by me. I th if you guys could could have t tell, yeah, I produced them through tracks, which I'm quite proud of. So like, yeah, outro, top much outro. It's the outro of the album, and like I'm a super on a, on a computer, which I am to be honest. I am super on a computer, you know, doing YouTube videos for the past over seven years, eight years in February. Well, eight years next month, I open my YouTube channel, and then February 2021 will be eight years since I do since my first YouTube video. Yes, and yeah. There's the album. This right video's there. got on long enough now. Me talking about the entire album, all 15 songs off the album. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.